the key takeaways is, uh, you know, no doubt that patent strengthening does improve and add value to your portfolio. I think that the main thing really is don't try to do strengthening on too many patents. Uh, reduce and focus the effort on, a, you know, a quality set of assets. Um, and it's, uh, it's something that you don't just do it once. Uh, it's really patent strengthening is something throughout the life of a portfolio. You know, it's part of your building, your maintaining, and uh, growing that portfolio and adding value to help you successfully monetize in the end. Thank you, uh, Abdullah Rahal. Adam Gilbert, some key takeaways, please. Thanks, Al. Um, this actually, uh, my, my main takeaway, I think, ties into the second audience question, and that is, I think there, there's, everything can be monetized, and the first question is, is it worth it? How, how do you plan to monetize it? And based on that monetization, just walk down the path. Are we gonna sell this? Are we gonna license it? Do we need to keep rights to it? Are we gonna maybe trade it for something else? And depending on which of those paths you walk down, does it need to be strengthened? Uh, do we need to do some, um, maybe some auditing? Um, I think you want to walk down the path before you just kind of say, I'm going to put this up on some patent sale website and, and go from there. Um, and so I, I hope our presentations have uh, provided some guidance to help people maybe even construct an internal flow chart for, okay, do we use it? Do we not use it? Um, would our competitors want it? Or, you know, uh, just kind of ask yourself all the important questions that would occur along the timeline of the monetization process. And maybe once you get to the end of that timeline, you realize, you know what, it's not even gonna be worth it, let's not do it. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I would hope that that doesn't occur too often as a patent attorney, but, um, but I think that that's also a possibility. Thank you, Adam, Adam Gilbert. And uh, for our final key takeaway, Derek Mason, uh, uh, some of the uh, summations of the key points you'd like to leave the audience with. Sure. Um, first, I would say look at the overall IP picture and don't just focus solely on one of the four portfolio area management areas that I, I discussed. In other words, see the forest instead of the trees. Look at it from that 30,000 foot view to get an idea of how to use all of the different moving parts. Also think creatively when you're structuring a deal so that both sides can perceive that the deal is a win. Um, remember, if the proposed deal is two owners for one side, they're going to walk away. So you need to listen to each other and come up with a way to creatively structure that deal. Lastly, all, all deals involve risk. Um, the goal is to minimize that risk to a level that's acceptable for both sides, but particularly for your company. Uh, and once you get there, if you've gotten the pieces in the deal that you want uh, at a acceptable level of risk, move forward doing what it is you really want to do, which is business, making money, selling product, et cetera.